Right, um, let's get right into the first scene, shall we? I do have this up to around two times speed, obviously. Because I don't want to get claimed. <laughs> Fucking. Fucking look at this shit. Okay, 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 we're gonna start from scene one. Things explode. Right, we're moving on twos, right? Um, right, move. One, two, move. One, two, one, two, one, two. And we're getting followed by the arrows, which is amazing. Look at these, the dirt is flying in our face it's frizzy right we do have the the dust lines coming off the environment behind us is is very um very out of focus right so so it's not as sharp as the objects for example coming towards us and as megumi is making his way further away from the camera he's also being out of focus this look at this the beauty of like these simple lines just they look crisp they look like energy right Amazing. How we follow this up. Do we continue to like, he's very, like in the beginning, he's very undefined, which is like he's away from the camera. But even when he's coming closer, we're still not even seeing a face or anything. We're just focusing solely on the actual action that is happening here. And only when we actually, when, when we are right face front of the camera, we're, we're going in with that definition with even like the dust clouds and whatnot having the shiny light spill off of them. And Megumi actually having definition in terms of his figure and how he... How he looks. And look how long this sequence is. This is insane. This is such a long sequence. So many frames. And we're changing angles, right? In the beginning... In the beginning we were... Right, let me see. In the beginning we're running away from the arrows, so the... So we're looking at Megumi from behind and then we turn around and look at like from from the other side of the hallway how he's coming towards us. We're changing we're changing 180 again when he actually runs into the camera and we're following him up the stairs and around the corner. And as as the objects are coming closer and closer, we do see that last moment when we switch not 180, but 90 degrees to the side angle. He's turning around. Look at this pretty boy. And he's matrix dodging the arrows. He's passing the, the right moment for that. And it looks so sexy when it... Holy shit. I like, I, I'm a sucker for good animation. It's amazing. But we do have all of these things, right? There's like... The arrow passed, arrows passed him by, but there's the next arrows coming, and they're quick, right? We don't even see that. The first, the first frame where we see the arrows, I think, right? No, this, this is like rubble. And the first frame where we see the arrows is right here. One frame, two frames, three frames, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24, 23 to impact, 24 to, to like double impact of the arrows, which means that it took all of one second, because obviously anime is in 24 frames per second, all of one second for the arrows to actually appear in our field of vision and then make our way towards us and for us to dodge it. Omega Me here has a frame of one, two, three. One minute. One, right? This is the, the first no, but one frame, two frames, one frame, two frames, one frame, two frames, one frame, two frames, one frame. Oh no no wait wait. We we hold it longer here for three frames, I think. Right? We we do like one, two, one, two, one, two, one two, three, but we're moving slightly, so we're still moving. But this this fast movement is actually, right, we're, we're kicking it off here, I think, right? We see one, two, 
one, two, one, two, one, two. Now we're still moving on twos. We're still moving on twos. Same here, I think. We moved. One, two, one, two. Yeah, we're still moving on twos. We're constantly moving on twos. The arrows are a lot faster, but we pass up the right moment to actually dodge them. And that is a great transition. Look at this transition, right? We, the arrows into the pillar, smoke rises, right? Explosion, whatever. We don't see anything unclear and undefined. And then we see out of the smoke, a close up shot of Kamo. Really cool shit, really cool shit. And we're focusing almost solely on animation here this time around on the discussion. If, if you're not interested in animation, I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you do watching an anime like Jujutsu Kaisen? But other than that... Yeah. Obviously looking at like... I think it's very cool that they, they are somewhat consistent in inner thoughts being represented by a still or mostly of a mostly a still frame of like for example blue background and like it gets you like I don't know why but I associate blue with thinking in a way, right? While I would associate red more with possibly aggression or or attack or whatever. We're using the environment oh that was a cool shot that I wanted to to actually that that I noticed during the reaction. Are we moving on twos here? Uh, let me see. Right. We moved here. I mean, there was something in front, but we did move. Right? Move two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Wait, wait, wait. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, wait, no. See? One and two. We have. One, and we're moving. We're moving on ones right now because we're super close, right? And then the fist is coming in. The focus is on the face, but the face is revealing half of the screen, leaving half of the screen open for the fist to actually come in. Because this is the thing we're focusing on. This, the face is amazing, right? In terms of like detail and everything. And then, then the fist is actually coming in because that's the object that's, that's going in our, or supposedly wants to go in our face. And this is how we block it. And weapon bursting and everything. Yeah. And he's... Yeah. He's jittering. These shots are amazing too, right? Like, when we accentuate the shadows and make, make them look really, really cool and concentrated and resolved and, and strong. Accentuating the shadows is a really nice trick to let something appear very, very defined and impactful in the moment, especially the way they do it right here. We skip the intro, of course. <laughs> Little goofy shots and whatnot. I do like like inserts where, where it's like different art style, it just sometimes it doesn't feel like it fits. If the entire environment was in that art style, I feel like the joke would have maybe been a little bit better, but I don't know, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm just not a good recipient for, for jokes like these. It's just how it is, maybe. Bro, his eyes barely ever show. They only show when actually his true mo motives are coming to the forefront. It's a very interesting way to specifically only apply to this very character that we're having here. Where it's like most of the time we don't know what he's thinking. And in a couple of glimpses and moments we do see for a second when the eyes become visible. This is his motive. This is his thought. It's very deliberate how they do that. This is great shadow work, right? How he's coming around the corner of the of the tree. Slowly, like like almost like a sunset um time lapse or something, right? You know what I mean? Wonder what's under his like what what's in there, like because he doesn't have doesn't have an arm there. 
interesting how we're using like sapia tones to to do like the flashback things and we're going back to japanese hallway the way we're playing with like the dimensions and that the way that the, the camera focus changes during that scene we have to focus on megumi and and we're slowly sliding the uh, the second layer right because we do have two layers Technically three, I think Megumi himself is also a layer, but he moves on the same axis as as the actual environment layer. And then we do have Kamo, Kamo facing out here uh, and, and becoming like in focus. But then we switch to Megumi as, as he's staring him down and we're starting out. This is a very quick start here, like for a while there's nothing moving and then, um, right, we're both taking like half a step back and getting ready to pounce and then it's like one two one two oh it like we're waiting for a really long time here it's almost four frames i think i, I would say right that is a movement that is a movement that is not move right on camo's part it is as a reaction right megumi moves camo moves interesting and then one two three four on four, they both move, right? Megumi moves, Camo moves, and then they're ready to pounce, and then on, on four, they actually start. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two. I mean, it's technically movement, so it's on one, basically. We kind of slightly alterate it to kind of propel specific movements forward, show that something happens very quickly. But most of the time, we are moving on twos. And at the moment, at the very least, both of them are often moving at the same time. Not always, mind you. Right here, they're moving on, this, on the same frame, but here, they're actually alternating. So we do have some dynamic in there. It feels like a dynamic fight, like a dance almost, where one counters the other, one reacts to the other. And here we actually, right, we, we do have this, this side view of both of them. And then suddenly, um, as we are continuing the fight and rotating around, suddenly we zoom in for the shot, which is interestingly enough coming from the ground up to actually Kamo, who is... Right? It, it makes, it feels, the way the camera shows, it feels like while the camera is zooming in, Kamo is actually moving back and to the side. While Megumi, Megumi is in the focus here, his attack is in the focus. I love how, how we are basically, how we're, how we're attacking with the weapon. And we end on a frame where the weapon is right in the camera and super, super detailed and in focus. And then we're moving out with the weapon again. And this is the movement that actually that, that is actually moving the camera with with the fight, right? Love the smushy lines on like the, the extension of the arms, which is actually not how reality works, but how our perception actually right, how our eyes pick that up and our brain is like, yeah, this is this is that movement, right? He's moving forward. This is why it's extended. Right, yeah. Impact shots, boom. I think this is some of the best animation that I've seen, despite the fact that we've seen some really cool animations in the last couple of episodes with Maki and Mai, as well as Mekamaru and, and Panda and whatnot. Some of the best animation we've seen. All season, probably, even. Alright, we're going in. You don't even realize how we're switching cameras, right? The fist comes in and one frame later we're concentrating on another fist, right? We're replacing, we're going over. And suddenly it's Kamo's fist and Kamo's actually going backwards and, and, and dodging and then matching him to boot. I do love these shots where we're actually having the clashing, the clashing um, backhand, basically. Where we, where we halt for a second and actually actually see how they're how both both are coming to a standstill but we're using our abilities right 
Megumi using his hand to actually flip the, the weapon over and, and hit him on his head. Brilliant. The, the, the feet as they are... The feet as they are moving, footwork being being put into the focus here. And we're zooming out and we're seeing like these cool... Right, the, 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 the cool ways they they are actually standing while while they're pushing themselves off to, to, to go in for the next strike. Going forward, fists forward, but like this, right? Kind of like reminds you of some of the old um, like fighting movies, right? The karate movies or whatnot. And we're breaking it. I love stuff breaking, it's amazing. Anime. And then we have our talk. Uh, I do wonder if there's like some cool animation coming in because we do yeah, he's he's turning around and that's a cool style and whatnot, but what we're Oh no, he this is when he's actually that might be a cool a cool thing to say. That is amazing. I mean we know he he's forming into other shadows and whatnot, but it's cool to actually see such a detailed animation, like the shadows almost like flames, right? They're they're wavering and then like they're very undefined, like volatile, and then they form into an actual conceptual thing that we can grasp with our minds, which is like a black and white elephant, and then out of the shadows with like <laughs> the glint in the eye, it's actually forming. That is a cool, cool, um, a cool way. And I do love water in anime, always. Especially like uh, Demon Slayer, Freer, and all of these. These shows would use water in really, really cool ways to interact with humans. Because water is something very amazing. And when, when you're full of water, right? The, the way he, like his entire, um, his entire shape is just swerving away. It's, it's amazing. It's really cool. And this is rough water, right? This is not like crystal clear. That is clear enough to see through, but still. We do have these these frames. Holy shit, that is an amazing frame. Him seeing through, right? We're going over from we're going from Megumi looking and focus on his face and the eyes. The shadow is going in front and we focus on the eye of Nue. And going inside the eye of Nue, switching around, right? First person perspective. Um Warped camera, almost fish eye or eye lens fish. Right? Everything bends around the eye, everything bends around our perspective, and then going in right away. And then zooming out, right? And making like immediately zooming out and 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 passing the movement by. We're moving forward towards Kamo, uh, this point of view. And as we meet Kamo, we're actually switching 180 and seeing the movement being completed, which is incredibly satisfying from a visual perspective. Black and white for his cursed speech, really cool usage or not. Not that my knowledge, I mean, this is the this is the veil, I'm, I'm not that interested in how they display that. I love how um, Utahime is drawn, right, with her scar and something, he, it looks really, really great. And you do see, like, whenever you see Goto is always very, very drawn, very, very defined. Unless you, unless they want to make a joke with him. But other than that, he's very well defined always. Which, in my opinion, kind of almost represents him being this person who is taking incredibly serious in terms of his power level. I mean, yes, he's a goober, but he's like, people have respect. And that is even coming across in the way he's drawn. And the way he's presented in, in all of the, the scenes. There's an incredible respect coming from that. I do love how the tree is formed here. I do love how, how it looks on like a textural level with the tree. I do also love how we are displaying this weird speech that we can't understand. Uh, that we can't really comp... How do you say that? That we cannot cannot speak and cannot understand on an auditory level, but we can comprehend anyway, right? How, how everything is, um, how everything is static, kind of, while we, while we're, like, getting used to a new and weird sensation that we have never felt before. 
glint in everybody's eye. We have sunset almost, so the night is gonna break. And this last panel, holy shit. That looks absolutely gorgeous and badass. And to zoom in. Like I said, I do love how the how the tree parts are drawn. It's like it's different than the thing that's coming out of his eyes, right? That that is like how you usually draw trees in anime and how the, the forest is drawn as well. But this this is like super ultra defined and, and spirally and, and the texture of what it looks like. There's so much shadow work going on there. It's insane. And it looks very, very plot like very realistic in terms of like very barky. Yeah. Amazing episode. That was Jujutsu Kaisen episode 18. I hope you enjoyed this discussion. Um, I do always love to look at the animation and highlight how, how amazing it is. I don't even want to imagine how much time it took the people to actually make this animation. Because obviously, sure, we, we have commu computer support these days and, and it it works out, right? But this this takes an enormous amount of time. That being said, I, I hope I'll see you next time on Jujutsu Kaisen for episode 19. Yeah, um, terminus out. Thank <laughs> you.